The father of the Garland teenager who was accused of shooting four teenagers, killing three of them, is expected to stand trial in Dallas County this week. Investigators believe Richard Acosta drove his 14-year-old son, Abel Acosta, to commit the murders. And they allege that he knew it was going to happen. The father's attorney suggests otherwise. His son is still on the run. Fox News Davis and Tendry spoke with the girlfriend of one of the victims ahead of this week's trial date. He always brought me flowers like every month. And now you bring him flowers? Yeah. Michelle Castillo is talking about 14-year-old Xavier Gonzalez, who she calls her first love. He was one of three teenagers murdered inside a convenience store in Garland in December 2021. The alleged shooter, Abel Acosta, is still on the run. Investigators believe Acosta targeted 17-year-old Rafael Garcia and 16-year-old Ivan Noela because of a prior incident. Police say Gonzalez was an innocent bystander who was at the store buying tacos for his family. We was always there for each other. You were best friends? Yeah. Castillo says she was texting back and forth with Gonzalez while he was waiting for the tacos, but the messages from Gonzalez stopped. He opened my text, but like he never texted it back. So he saw your message, he yeah. just never responded? He just never responded. Police say Acosta crept toward the store and opened fire. His father, Richard Acosta, is the accused getaway driver. Richard Acosta turned himself in the day after the killings. His trial begins this week. He's charged with capital murder. We generally see people that are not considered the shooter perhaps facing less severe charges. Former Dallas County prosecutor and current criminal defense attorney, Russell Wilson, who is not directly tied to this case, says while Richard Acosta's capital murder charge is not exactly common for someone who is not accused of pulling the trigger, it's not necessarily out of line. You don't have to be the shooter if you're doing something to assist the person. Our most common scenario is the folks that agree to do the bank robbery. The person who's driving in the bank robbery is usually just as culpable as the person that goes inside and does the bank robbery. Richard Acosta's attorney, Heath Harris, tells Fox 4, we firmly believe that the credible evidence is going to show that he did not know and is not a party to this horrific shooting that his son committed. This is his son participating in gang activity that Richard Acosta had no idea that he was involved in. He did not cooperate because he requested a lawyer and said he didn't want to talk to us. Back in December, Detective team. Lucas yeah, Shoup yeah. told Fox 4 you know. he believes evidence will show Richard Acosta knew his son was going to kill the teens. Is there information that you have that shows Richard Acosta knew what his son was going to do that night? I believe we do, yes. So I think that will be where they focus very heavily on what he knows prior to the shooting happening. It's unclear if there's any evidence that Richard Acosta knows where his son is. So I think both sides would try to use that information. We just want them like to pay for what they did. Castillo says she'll never forget Gonzalez. She regularly visits his gravesite. I just talk to him, like tell him how my life is going. She never imagined that this is how her first love would end. He was really special. He was a good kid. He was a good boyfriend. David Centendry, Fox 4 News. Richard Acosta's attorney, Heath Harris, says his client will testify this week. Garland police believe Abel Acosta may have fled to Mexico with help to avoid prosecution.